election indictment is now on hold for now, but that hasn't stopped defendants from hurling attacks at the woman prosecuting them. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis clapped back today. Atlanta News first political reporter Doug Reardon was there when the DA spoke less than 24 hours after one of her former prosecutors and romantic partners gave an interesting interview. That special prosecutor Nathan Wade was here at Turner Chapel today listening to Willis's speech. It was their relationship that derailed this case, sent it to an appeals court where it won't be picked up again until October. We see what you think about us, that you believe it is acceptable to sexualize and attack us. Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis responding to sexist attacks hurled at her by a defendant in her historic election and diamond case. This week, former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani used a derogatory term for women to reference Willis and her prosecution of him and 18 others. On Thursday, addressing members of the local African Methodist Episcopal District at their annual meeting, Willis rushed off the insults. See, that's why they mad. Because while they over there running their mouth, I'm over here paying them no mind, thriving. Willis recently won a primary race to keep her seat as DA, but her position as lead on the election and diamond case is a bit more uncertain. A relationship with her former top prosecutor, Nathan Wade, who was in the crowd Thursday, ended with weeks of testimony, Wade's resignation from the case, and an appeal that's still pending over Willis's future. What role do you believe that your actions played in that? Uh, I don't believe my role, my actions played a role in it at all. In an interview with CNN just hours before Willis gave her address, Wade called his decision to date Willis during the prosecution, quote, bad timing. The timing of their relationship has been the source of some controversy, and when asked during his interview... These exact dates are, I'm getting, I'm getting signaled here. Wade had to break and step off camera to speak with his team before finally sitting back down and answering. The public has a, a, a clear snapshot that this is clearly just a distraction. Um, it is not a, a relevant issue in this case. And with this indictment now going to the appeals court in October, it's very unlikely this will go to trial before November. In that CNN interview, Wade stated that former President Donald Trump could still be prosecuted even if he were to win back the White House. In Marietta, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.